Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, and certainly thank you for calling this hearing. And when I look at the title of the hearing, credit default swaps at the first part and Greek debt crisis at the end, I think it would behoove Congress to spend a lot more time focusing on the debt crisis and credit default swaps. I somehow feel to some extent uh, as I listen to some of the opening statements that there is an element of let's shoot the messenger, uh, the credit default swap market. Uh, let's to some extent say that they have exacerbated the Greek debt crisis. Uh, the lesson here for us, and I might add uh, to amplify a comment of our ranking member, uh, the market acted more efficiently uh, than the rating agencies. And theoretically, Greece had a, a, uh, a deficit to GDP ratio and a debt to GDP ratio that didn't qualify under EU standards. And yet, <laughs> they were still allowed to remain as a member of the EU. Uh, and so the early warning signals in many cases actually came from the credit default swap market. So I think we would be very loath. Uh, uh, we would be, we need to be very cautious on how we approach uh, a re uh, any type of new regulatory scheme that might harm the ability of essentially this early warning system. Uh, and it's certainly an early warning system to the United States of America. Uh, as we know, I believe Greece is now having to restate their deficit to GDP ratio of uh, up to about 12 percent. Well, right now we have a deficit to GDP ratio of 10 percent. Uh, we know also uh, at the uh, end of the president's 10-year budget window, according to estimates by the Congressional Budget Office, uh, the General Accountability Office, we're looking at a debt to GDP ratio of 90 percent. Uh, all economists will tell you that's when the needle enters the red zone. Uh, press reports indicated that members of Chancellor Merkel's party in Germany have called upon Greece to sell its sovereign territory in order to deal with its debt crisis. Sell sovereign territory. I hope and pray that the United States is not on the path to becoming Greece uh, without the Aegean Sea and the Parthenon. Uh, but there are lessons to be learned here uh, for us. Uh, there are also press reports that indicated that uh, when Argentina uh, defaulted on its debt, and I'm not, I don't believe the United States would ever default on our debt, but when Argentina defaulted on its debt uh, early uh, uh, eight, seven, eight years ago, creditors actually tried to put a lien on their navy, their naval vessels. Uh, and here we are, probably facing the most predictable crisis in the history of America. And yet, almost each and every day, this Congress makes it worse. And we talk about accounting being opaque, again, to amplify comments of the ranking member. How can we have our Secretary of Treasury come here and say the debt of the GSCs are not sovereign debt, but we're going to back each and every dollar? And somehow, again, we know that one of the causes of the financial crisis was essentially these off-balance sheet vehicles, and yet we have Uncle Sam engaged in the worst. Uh, and there's 127 billion reasons why the GSEs ought to be reformed, and yet the bill that is going through Congress now is stone cold silent on the root cause of the problem. These are the true lessons we ought to be learning from Greece. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back the balance of my time.